So you're going to the funeral? Why, you think I should? What, are you kidding? It's a golden opportunity to advance the relationship. She's crying. You put your arm around her and console her. You're the consolation guy. I'm the consolation guy. Consolation guy is big. Her aunt dying is the best thing that ever happened to you. It's like 10 dates in one shot. <laughs> this confers upon you instant boyfriend status. The family's there. You're taking care of things. You're getting the sandwiches. You're the rock. It's in Detroit, though. It's an expensive flight. Why don't you get a death in the family fair? What? <laughs> you go to the airlines, you tell them that you have a death in the family, they give you 50% off the fare. Really? In fact, listen, I'll go down there with you. You know, we'll tell them there's a death in my family, you buy the ticket, I'll split it. Huh? Then I'll get the bonus smiles and you'll get the Detroit for a quarter of the price. <laughs> My friend here, his, his aunt, passed away last night. Oh, I'm very sorry. I saw her last week. She looked healthy and peaceful, but <laughs> she knew. You poor thing. I... You don't think you could buy the ticket yourself? Oh, no, no, no. OK. I could. I, no, please. There, 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 there. You, you sit. I'll, I'll purchase the ticket for you. Oh, you're a good friend. I understand you offer a 50% off bereavement fare? Yes, all you have to do is pay the full fare now, then return to any one of our counters with a copy of the death certificate, and we'll refund half your fare. <laughs> the, the death certificate? Yes, yes, we do need documentation, or, you know, people could take advantage. What? kind of a sick person would do a thing like that? I know, but it happens. You want my friend to ask his uncle, a man who just lost his wife of 44 years, for a death certificate so that he could save a few bucks on a flight? That would be $387 round trip. All right, so you'll need my uh, frequent flyer number, huh? Yes. <laughs> this is uh, my third wake this month never gets any easier well losing a loved one is uh, <laughs> I mean forget about it mm. <laughs> you um, you seem to be of great comfort to Betsy we're very appreciative oh comfort schmumford <laughs> Listen, uh, <clears throat> Father, can I, can I ask you a question? In a terrible time like this, who would I get the death certificate from? Double dipped that chip? Excuse me? You double dipped the chip. Double dipped? What, what, what are you talking about? You dipped the chip, you took a bite, and you dipped again. <laughs> so? That's like putting your whole mouth right in the dip. <laughs> From now on, when you take a chip, just take one dip and end it. Well, I'm sorry, Timmy, <laughs> but I don't dip that way. Oh, you don't, huh? No. You dip the way you want to dip, I'll dip the way I want to dip. Give me the chip! Hey, hey, hey! Get out of here! Give me the chip! Stop it, George! Get out! Get out! I never want to see you again! Go back to New York! Get out! Get out! All right, sir. Now all I need is a death certificate, and you'll be on your way. Well, you see, what happened was um, the doctor, the very same doctor that was attending my late aunt, suffered an untimely stroke and uh, lost the use of his right hand. So obviously I was unable to get the death certificate. Um, however, I, I do have this. What's this? Uh, that's a picture of me next to the coffin. <laughs> Nice try. Not even close, huh? No. <laughs>